You don't hear Bobby? Bobby the Builder. <laughs> Bobby the Builder? Yeah. So, man, we got the shock towers cut off, the e brake stuff cut off. We got this shock tower cut off. And we're going to repair this little frame area here. Pretty simple. But man, the plasma is acting up. What do you think about that, Bobby? It's our way. Yeah, man, it's trash. You basically have to resort to cut off wheels. Yeah, buddy. What do you think about that flat stock? Yeah, good. good. Thick enough? Yeah. So I think we just repair one side at a time as we go, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So once that's done, we can put that piece inside and out. Move right along. You excited, Bobby? I'm having a party across the street, Bobby. Bring you guys back once we get this piece in. But if you really didn't want to drill holes on the new paint job, I wouldn't. You don't like to drill holes on a new paint job? No. You're not feeding the puppies today, Bobby. <laughs> I saw that coming. There's one, there's one dude said, I'm always walking around with, with old trucks in my hand. <laughs> Make love. <laughs> yeah. All right, so here we are, eight hours later. Can you explain what we did, Bobby? Yeah. Let's put these pieces in here. From transmission mount forward. Mm-hmm. Both sides. Remember. Yep. Uh, we put those pieces around the all the mounts. Just kind of mocked up. Still need a little bit of trim work. There's a little trim right here. Uh, we did from the tunnel back, all the sides. We were going to do the top, but there's a lot of trim to be done on that. So we did these here stuff. Yeah. So I think we're gonna weld the nuts right in the yeah for the bumpers. Yep. Weld the nuts in and then cap it off. So it would be clean for a cleaner look. Because we already had capped it off. <laughs> Forgot about the bumpers. Yes. So we had to cut it. We got this mount down here. Back mount, trailing arm. Yep. So far, I think everything's working out okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to make a wishbone bracket. So we went around it today, but eventually that's gonna get cut off, and and a, a, reinforce. yeah, reinforce and then a custom bracket. But, I mean, we, we did the pieces as big as we could without chopping the mounts. I think the little bitty mini triangles, man, I think they're for right here. These right here. Yeah. They look like for that. A little big, but... So overall, man, I still like the kit. Pretty happy with the kit. But like I said, or like Bobby said, that the sides are gonna have to be trimmed, the overage, to fit the top. All flush, which ain't nothing. We just didn't wanna get that. We didn't wanna do that today. So overall, since we started uh, next weekend, what? Spring perch? 
or start on the front? Chop all that off? No. I don't think I'm going to cut this off unless you want to. No, I wouldn't cut that off. Work around it. Cut this off. Bump stop getting cut off. E or brake line getting cut off. Cut this lip off. Cut the, yep, cross member lip off. Probably have to get a, make a custom piece because that case probably for the lip. Yeah. We'll see. I have to trim a little bit because it's a little oversized. Overall, pretty good, pretty good. So we'll bring you back next weekend. All right, today is March 26, 2022, it's Saturday. We're gonna be putting some work in, me and Bobby, on this frame. Uh, we plan to put at least eight hours in. Where we left off, we got everything uh, tacked in. We got the mounts tacked in, or the mount reinforcement, I should say. All those. Uh, this up here, uh, of course, this is all just roughed in. We're all gonna we're gonna cut it to trim and or trim it to cut or whatever you want to call it. Um, I think today's plan for this thing is we want to get the top. So from the X back, which really isn't much. From here back, we want to get that on, and we want to get the spring perch on, and then from the X forward to wherever the piece falls, probably somewhere around here. Uh, that's today's plan. It's gonna take a little bit of work because this all needs to get cut down. This right here especially. Cut down flush, that side over there is pretty good. Got a little bit right there. A little bit tall right here. This side ain't bad, of course it's tall right here. So all that needs to get cut flush first, and then we're gonna get the top piece clamped in, clamped in, and then we're gonna have to cut the top piece because the top piece is too wide. It hangs over. So imagine it being like that, and it's too wide. So we have to we have to cut here on the top piece. So quite a bit of cutting today. That's why we stopped last weekend. We didn't feel like doing that. So now we're gonna we're gonna attack it. So quite a bit of cutting and fitting and, and not a whole lot of welding today. The slip needs to come off so that we can put the plates for this. I did buy a plasma or we did buy a plasma. Uh, we got it off Amazon and uh, I'm, I'm pretty disappointed in it. It's a Lotus. I think it was $300 and we split it up between four people so it wasn't that bad. But uh, man, Amazon's good for some stuff. But uh, they shouldn't be selling uh, plasmas. That's my opinion on this thing. It works. It works when it wants to. Uh, I tried cutting this stuff here. As you can see, I got a little bit there, but not a whole lot, man. It does cut the, the new the new 1.8 pretty good. It cuts sheet metal good. But uh, as far as, uh, I mean, things advertised to cut up to 3.8, I think. And yeah, I don't see how that happens. So that being said... We'll see. We might use more cutoff wheels than the plasma, but I don't know. I'm going to dial it in. I'm going to mess around with it a little bit, try and get it dialed in, see how it acts. But overall, I'm not, I'm not too thrilled with the performance on that. So that's today's plan. We're going to be working on this frame. Bring you guys back once we get some work in. So what do you got here, Bobby? You know. <laughs> oh, here we go. So we had to cut this with the cutoff wheel because the plasma doesn't even turn on. So I gotta see about taking that back. Brand new plasma. Brand new, it's got like 10 minutes of use on it. So we had to cut it with the cutoff wheel and we're just gonna tack these pieces on before we move on to the next side. Not bad, huh? All right, bring it back.
place and I cut it off and I do it. So we're ready for the side piece now, huh? That eighth inch bend is really easy. Too easy. So we're just gonna put the side piece on here and bring it back once the both spring perches are done. What'd you say, Bobby? Easy work. Easy? Yeah. Go Nate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a little gap. There's all right. I can fill any gap. So we just gotta chop this little extra excess off and then move on to the top, huh? Yeah. Back of the top? Yeah. Top of the back? So I think we get the, the whole top done today, huh? Sweet. Good job, Bobby. So you want it in, in the middle, but you don't want it overlapping at all? No. Because then when you grind it, it's not going to have no load. So tack it. Tack it. And cut it. Yeah, we'll cut it. Just hold, just hold it down. Just hold, hold it down. So that side's done, man. Well, not done, but in place. Had to do a little trimming here. Trimmed the whole thing, actually. Relief cut. Did a relief cut because it was wanting to go that way. So now we're gonna knock out this other side, which uh, in two hours. Plan to do this other corner and then and then these front pieces, which these front pieces seem like they're a lot less work. So right along look good loving it could have been bad <laughs> yeah I heard that Alright, so we got the top of the frame done, both sides, a lot of trimming. And under the AR mount. So all we're going to do now is put these little triangles on. There. Going to cap off the trailing arm bracket. That'll probably be it for the day. What you think, Bobby? Hi. A lot of work. Yeah. Just think of all the money I'm saving. Yeah, what they say? 2500 for a full wrap? 2500 for a full wrap, yep. Maybe for the welder. So uh, we'll bring you back once we wrap it up for the day. So here we are, uh, end of the day on Saturday. Uh, 
uh, on the spring. So, man, we got a lot done, way more than I expected. Uh, we just basically put the tops on, which is easier said than done because the top was oversized. So when I say oversized, I mean the plate was covered, was past the side. So picture it like this. So it had to be trimmed to cut. And the reason why we trimmed it so short like that, is so we can get all three pieces together when we go to weld it, which is this piece, the original frame and the side piece. All right, Bobby? Mm -hmm. We covered up the body mount, but we're gonna have to cut that out back here. So we started back here. We need to put the plate on the inside, but before we do that, we're gonna weld the bumper uh, bolts. We're gonna weld the bolts to the frame back there and then cap it off. So when you put the bumpers on, the bolts are there. Mm -hmm. So you don't, they're already in place. So we did the entire top. We did the rear spring perch um, all the way to the X. And we did have to make a relief cut because when we was going over here, as you can see, it has a, a the dude did a mm. relief cut here. When it was going over here, it wanted to it wanted to go this way. Mm. So we had to do a little slice here to bring it over that way. And then when we got towards the end, we had to do another relief cut. So all that's going to be welded and molded smooth. We capped off the trailing arms for now. We finished up the X, which this is kind of a weird frame. It's not like your typical mm -hmm. X frame. The typical ones just have one piece up top. So this is kind of funky, but it'll all be molded smooth. And then on the front, all the way to the AR mounts, we chopped this and we went under the mount. So I didn't want to cut them off, but we did cut them so we can go under it. And that's pretty much it. That was, that was eight hours of work. Yep. And like probably six cutting wheels on the grinder. The only reason we, uh, we cut this, because you want it corner to corner, since we're grinding the weld down. We got a corner to corner, you're still gonna have weld left over. Right. So what he's saying is like, if you have, if you, if the two pieces are butt together like this, and you put a bead here, and when you go to mold it, you're taking that bead off and then your weld is gone. So we're gonna get it all in there and then maybe double weld it. We'll see. So you're like sewing it? Yep, we'll what, see. Depending on what we're gonna do, are we gonna round the, the round corners or, yeah, like or the square corners? Depends yeah. on how you we'll do see. it. We'll see. But man, big progress. So I think next weekend, we're gonna start on the cross member, which I think the cross member is probably the hardest, but but being that it's eighth inch with that uh, quarter power, it, it's really not that hard, thankfully. So we'll see, but uh, the bump stop's getting cut off, brake line's getting cut off, and we're gonna have a plate that's gonna go all the way around here. I believe it ends right here. Porta power. Yeah, it's a porta power, homemade porta power. Porta power video coming soon. Yeah, we're gonna do a video on that, <laughs> a separate video on, on how that actually works and how it would bend to the contour of this. Um, one important thing to note is on the cross member, if you go to put your plate on top, when you put the car together, your tie rods, if you don't recess this, or if you don't get that metal close enough to the factory metal, your tie rods are gonna rub mm -hmm. right here and right here. So when you go to turn, your tie rods are gonna hit. So what we plan to do is we're gonna cut this whole thing out and recess it probably Quarter inch. It's usually, it's usually to the front of this. Yeah. Recess this back, weld it back in, then put the new plate on top. So it'll basically be almost in the factory spot so your tie rods don't rub. It's kind of a big deal. A lot of people may not know to do that because, man, the last thing you want is this whole thing to be painted and your chrome suspension and all that. And when you go to turn the car, it rubs right here. And you, you don't want to turn. turn. And you can't turn. Yep. So that's a wrap, man. We got a lot done. Uh, I'd like to say next weekend, cross member, that's on the menu. So we'll bring y'all back once we start that.